Chris, you went from Fat Thor in Avengers Endgame to a very fit Agent H in mm. Men in Black International. What's the trick to losing all those pounds so quickly? Hashtag asking for a friend. Mm, sure. Um, well, I developed a fitness app called Senna. Right. Uh, and uh, the, the, the answers lie within that. Um, no, nah, look, I'd like to say that um, I put the weight on and, you know, Raging Bull-esque sort of method acted yeah. style. It was a incredible um, prosthetic piece basically That's it. yeah yeah but so. even this the silicon it was a silicon thing that weighed i think 70 pounds or something and, and had a zip up the back and it was remarkable and they took photos of my body and then turned it into a fat version so every little sort of freckle or hair or whatever that was here was on that silicon <laughs> piece, right. piece yeah so remarkable Chris, you were 14 when the first Men in Black movie came out. Um, yeah. Do you remember seeing it for the first time? Were you a fan? And what got you interested in about making this one? Um, I can't remember if I saw it at the movies or where. Right. I just remember sort of vividly, very passionately loving the film and loving what Will Smith and Tommy Lee were doing and, and, and felt it was incredibly unique and unlike anything else you know, that, that was on at the cinemas. Um, and yeah, I was a fan of the franchise uh, and the opportunity to sort of continue that on and do something different with it and, and, and broaden it onto a sort of international platform. And that's why we shot in you know London, Morocco, Italy and New York, right. um, gave it a different feel. And, and um, you know, so it was sort of an honor to, to jump on board and, 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 you know, have the reins handed over and continue it on it. Right. You know, um, I feel like I have to ask, since you've made this kind of movie, what are your thoughts about um, the existence of aliens in this universe? Um, are we alone? Are there, mm. you know, are there beings who's going to come to rescue us? Uh, I think this sort of optimistic side of me would like to believe there's something else out there, you know? It's just exciting to think that we're not alone and that there's things beyond our sort of knowledge. Um, you know, it, 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 I mean, who knows? But, but I'd like to believe there were They're pretty boring if it was just, if it was us, just alone right yeah yeah someone's gonna come and help us at some point <laughs> and finally what's it like you know in this kind of movie which depends so much on chemistry with the partner you've got tessa thompson mm. who's a friend of yours who you worked with before um does that sort of help just you know make this um fun and just understand each other and yeah for sure i mean you spend a good 50 percent of any film shoot kind of finding chemistry with an actor yeah. or an actress and, and trying to work out each other's rhythms and so on uh, this week it hit the ground running and, and pick up where we left off on Ragnarok and Avengers and, right. and so I felt like you know a huge benefit in, in, in that sense and, and we were sort of talking about this very early on before shooting and I could pick up the phone and vice versa and say what do you think of this and that and so um, it was great you know I wish we had that luxury in every film sure. you know, but most, most times you sort of turn up and you hey nice to meet you and oh we're married are we or whatever <laughs> is going on in the scene and you're right. supposed to just pretend whereas you know, we were friends and we could just kind of <laughs> capitalize on that. Yeah. Right. Well, looking forward to seeing this one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Thank you.